This is just a brief tutorial on what I do to make wedge riveted mail. There's three tools basically that I use. One of them is a screwdriver that's ground into an awl that's basically pointy like the wedge shape of the wedge. The other is a tool that comes from the mail maker. On each side there is a large um, or a deep hole for driving the wedge through the mail and in the center is a small depression for peening over the rivet just by squeezing it and then I just use a ball peen hammer to drive the all through. So there's flat solid rings like this and then there's rings that are cut on each end and they're smashed and have a little indentation. But with these they are not driven all the way through. So that's what the awl is for. Take the awl, put it in the hole, give it a little tap. So it's made the hole all the way through so it's easier for the ridge or wedge to sit in it and give it a open up a little bit pick up four links since this is four and one male now you can put the wedge into oh, these are what the wedges look like very teeny tiny there's my finger for example of size you take the wedge, and drop it into the hole that you just made with the awl. Hopefully you can see the wedge here. It's in the mail. And I'm going to put it inside the pliers over here. So it's inside the pliers. then you squeeze it so it drives it through and of course I did it wrong so I'll do a different one take the four rings put it in the one pick up a one wedge Put it in the depression that you have. Sorry you can't see this because I have to do it close enough to my face to see it. So once it's in there you drive it through like this over to the center. You can see it's just sticking through the very edge. So you move it to the center part of the tool here and then you squeeze it and it peens the rivet over like that. So that's four in one male. Set it out for you so you can see it. So that's four in one male right there. Paused? It doesn't pause. Okay, so then you make a bunch of those, and then when you've got a bunch of those made, you make those into a chain. Like this. So you take another rivet, or another link, drive the hole. This is a lot harder when you can't do it in your lap the way you're used to doing it. 
So you can see how this one, the top one, or the center one, is up on away from me, and this one is up away from me. So same with that one. So now you lace this one through that one the same direction. both laced through there same direction like that and you close it pick up a rivet put it in the same depression that you made squeeze it in the pliers so that it's sticking through. Put it in the center depression and paint it over. And now you've got the beginnings of a long chain of mail. So then you keep adding and adding to that and you get these longer chains and once you have those together, you take these and you weave these together by putting one in each one of the four.